Ashton Kutcher, right? Kelso from that 70s show. You never thought you'd see him on the uh, floor of the New York Stock Exchange, but there he was this morning. So ringing the bell to sort of promote his new movie, the Steve Jobs biography, biop called Jobs. There he was this morning. Not a great day to be on the stock exchange, though. Take a look at the charts there down. Oh, the Dow down almost 100 now. It was down about 50 when I came up here to prep for the show. So things are starting to turn a little redder. But look, it's been a great year. It's been a great summer for the market. That is all that really matters right now. We'll keep an eye on that, that Dow thing. Good morning. Welcome to the Money Beat Show. I am Paul Vigna. We are starting today in Washington, D.C. because the Fed, the FBI, Federal Bureau of Investigation, you see them on the front page there, they have been poking around in the system that the government uses to release data, the lockup, the black box. They're finding some holes in that system. Brody Mullins joins us to talk about this. So uh, at the top, I, we need to say, Brody, that there have been no real breaches of the economic data the government releases, but the FBI is looking at this and finding vulnerabilities, right? Yeah, in fact, yes, there, there actually have been a bunch of breaches, but usually they're, they've been unintentional uh, by the media. Um, but in this case, what the government is try is, has found out is that this, the, the, the major technology they have to keep the data secure and safe uh, has flaws, uh, which means potentially um, the information uh, could get out to traders uh, ahead of the public. Right. Now, the way this happens is the government has what they, what they call a black box. It basically, you explain right. the story, it acts as a trap door on the data. And, and we at here at Dow Jones, Bloomberg, other uh, media companies have access to the black box we're all supposed to get the data at the exact same time. But it was interesting, the blue, it was Bloomberg that f on their own found some holes in the black box, reported it, and that's how this whole thing started, isn't it? Right, so what happened was uh, about a year ago, uh, Bloomberg uh, installed some new technology uh, to try to uh, figure out a way to get the data out of the Commerce Department uh, faster. Um, and then it, in, in doing their own tests on that uh, technology, they found out that that using that technology, they could get around the black box. So this was obviously a big problem. Uh, so they alerted the Commerce Department. The Commerce Department alerted the FBI. The FBI started looking into this. Uh, Bloomberg, you know, reported a couple ways they could get around the, the black box. Then uh, uh, the FBI found a couple more ways to get around the black box. So it seems like there's a lot of flaws in this technology. So where do they take this? I mean, what do they do with this report? What do they do with these issues? How do they tighten this system? Yeah, it's a really good question and one that uh, people are wrestling with in Washington. Uh, the, the issue is that this data in the government is incredibly important to the markets, incredibly important to the public, and there's more and more concerns about how safe the information is. So, you know, there could be sort of a broad rethink in, in how the government uh, releases market moving information to the public. Yeah, I mean, I suppose you're not going to go back to the old days of physically handing out reports, although that probably would be the safest thing, right? M they might, or just put things on their website. <laughs> right, just put it on their website. Now, you, you have to watch, and they've looked at this too, they look at the trading patterns right before some of these reports come out. And we know that some of the private data gets sold a few minutes ahead of time. We know that, that whole game. But this is something different. When you're talking about the non-farm payrolls report, when you're talking about GDP, I mean, this is something different. Have they seen, uh, how, how many times have they seen these sort of patterns where people are trading ahead of the information? Well, it's hard to say how many times. I mean, it's, it's relatively frequently. I mean, agencies have made mistakes by releasing the information too early. Uh, all the major media companies have made mistakes by, by sort of pressing the button and sending the information out too early. I mean, the government releases hundreds of sets of data, uh, market moving data per year. So it's relatively common that there is some sort of a, a, a snafu. The question is, is that just a mistake? Or are there any, and what the FBI is looking for, is are there is there criminal uh, wrongdoing, and that's right. what we don't know yet. We don't know that yet. We haven't found that yet. Right. So, all right, uh, Brody Mullins, thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thanks.